Hello and welcome to my channel. Today let's look at the media pipe face mesh model for detecting facial landmarks. This model is available as part of the TensorFlow.js pre-trained models. This model predicts 468 3D facial landmarks on the input on the input face. Um, if you look at the output, this is how the output looks like. The predictions object looks like this. It is an array of uh, it is an array basically. Uh, the reason for array is it could detect more than one phase at any point in time. So that's why this array. And within each of those predictions, the things that it gives us whether uh, phase and view confidence basically it tells whether whether it detected a phase and then and a bounding box for that phase and a mesh which is the uh, 460 3D facial landmarks. But this is not uh, uh, this is not according to the width and height of the video element that we have. So that's why we have the scaled mesh because the output uh, points here scale appropriately to the video elements width and height, whatever we are having uh, on our browser. And then we have certain annotations which can basically provide the points for the outline of the face, the lips, some uh, to specific, uh, it gives the points for specific parts of the face. So that's the overall structure of the output. Now let's take a look at the code and see how we can uh, use it. So this is a simple HTML page. The only, uh, there are only two elements added here. One is the canvas element. The other one is the video element. The video element is set to autoplay. Uh, and then since this is a webcam video, which is usually flipped horizontally by default, we want to flip it back to make it normal. So that's why we are adding these uh, these uh, CSS styles to basically flip it back so that it looks normal. Same thing for the canvas as well. And we want to set the video uh, to hidden so that we only look at one output and uh, we, uh, we are able to draw the points on the canvas. So now for this to work, we need to include a set of scripts and these are basically taken from the GitHub page itself. So they have given the list of scripts that needs to be added for uh, the face landmarks reduction to work for the for loading the media pipe face mesh model. What are the dependency scripts and all that? So it needs a TF Core JS, TF Converter JS, and a backend TF Backend WebGL. Or you can also use the uh, Wasm backend. But we'll go with the default ones. So we have included all those scripts apart from that we are including the script of this particular example now we'll move on um, to the index.js so here um, we are um, getting the reference for the two elements that we declared in the that we uh, that we declared in the uh, html page so the main function is here so there are three steps one we want to set up the camera Next, we want to load the model and third, we want to estimate or predict and then render that prediction. So those are the three steps. We'll go one by one. We'll look at each of these steps one by one. The first is to set up the camera. This is simple. Um, we use the media devices dot get user media uh, method, which basically um, when we when when it is loaded in the browser, when this method is hit, it basically asks the user for permission to use whatever media is requested uh, through this call. So basically here we are requesting the video. So it would pop up, a, uh, it would pop up a message asking whether, whether the user can allow to use the video uh, on the browser when we, when we run this index.html page or when we open this index.html page. So we call this navigator.mediadevices.getUserMedia um, this method basically returns a promise with the video stream object. So we call await on it and get back the video stream object once it returns. We set the video stream object to the source object of the video element so, so that the stream is assigned to the video element itself. Since this, is an, since this is an asynchronous function, we want to return a promise. The reason for it is because once it, the video element once the video stream is assigned it won't be available immediately we wanted to call this onloaded data 
basically this may, when this event occurs we can we are sure that the video all the um, metadata and everything is loaded and the video is ready for uh, consumption so we want to uh, wait until then before we return back uh, from this method so that's why we are explicitly returning a promise and then we are resolving it to the video object the one thing that we do within this uh, callback function is on the unloaded data callback function is we want to set the videos height and the videos width and height and canvas width and height to the uh, width and height internal width and height of the video element this is set because we want to make sure that whatever we are, uh, width and height that we have set on the html page takes effect else there is a natural height and width which takes effect we want to override that and uh, uh, make sure that the width and height that we specify takes effect so the, those that's why we provide these lines the next one is to get the context object basically in the canvas to do anything on the canvas we need the context object we get a 2d context here by, by calling canvas.getContext uh, 2d uh, and that's it so once this resolves to the video we are good with this function so we call uh, await setup camera so when this returns we would have a proper video object having the stream up and running so next thing is to load the face landmarks detection model because we loaded this script here face landmarks detection.js it would automatically uh, uh, load the object face landmarks detection so based on that we call the load function and load function takes couple of parameters first one is the type of model that we want to load the next one is a config object so currently the uh, tensorflow.js uh, implementation of the facial landmarks or the tensorflow facial landmark detection package provides support only to the media pipe face mesh model but the api is uh, written in such a way that uh, it can support multiple different models in the future as of now it supports media pipe face mesh so we provide that from the supported packages dot media pipe face mesh we say that we want to load media by face mesh model and then there is a set of configurations that you can um, pass while loading the model but since it's a simple example we will stick to uh, max phases parameter it basically says that while we load this move what we say is at the max just detect one phase whichever is the phase that is nearest to the camera and then once the model is loaded we call the render prediction method in the render prediction method here the first thing that we do is we call the estimate phases um, method and pass the input video object to get the predictions output from the model since this is also an asynchronous function we call await on it we get back the predictions so this predictions is nothing but the one that we saw on the github page this one this one so now we will loop through this predictions to make sure that uh, there is at least one prediction available once the length is greater than zero we loop through it get the individual prediction object and from the prediction object we get the prediction dot scaled mesh attribute which basically provides us an array which has an array of uh, xyz points each of those xyz points are itself within an array so we loop through those uh, array and get just the x and y coordinates from the 0 and 1 index once we got the x and y coordinates let's plot them on our canvas so we call the context at begin path to begin a path and draw a rectangle at the x y coordinate and we pass the width and height of that rectangle to be 1 and 1 and we call context at stroke to basically draw the rectangle and since this since we want this render prediction method to be applied on every frame of the video we are calling uh, this render prediction method in a loop using window.request animation frame which basically calls it an infinite loop every 60 frames per second it basically keeps calling so that it the prediction is applied on the video in real time okay so that's it for uh, call the render prediction method and call this main function 
uh, to start the to kick start the whole process um, that's it with the code for uh, using the uh, media pipe face mesh model so let's take a look at how the output looks like so it asks for this thing permission to use the video it might take a few seconds to load now you can see that it has loaded and it is able to detect all the points in real time this is lightweight and pretty fast as well that's it that's what i wanted to show you today thanks for watching thank you